Another good segue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we when you said we, uh oh, who do you mean, Ted? Well, <laughs> we have a very special in studio guest this week, someone who I've just met, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, we've kind of we've kind of run through just about everybody: law enforcement, education, <laughs> politics. Uh, so why not get a little showbiz involved here? So, <laughs> Absolutely. So sitting in the midst of Wilton, Iowa, is a girl named Debbie Maroff. That's, you know her as Debbie Maroff, but Debbie Garvey is her professional name, and she is a retired roller derby skater, star. And so we thought it'd be fun to have her sit on the hot sheet as I ask the hard-hitting <laughs> questions and... And uh, hopefully, Chad and Molly, if, if you pop pictures up as we go, we can pause and comment them, on them and so forth. But it is yeah, a We've got plenty of media to show, that's that's for sure. Because, no, Debbie, you've done a oh, lot of things besides just roller derby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead and don't be shy, honey. You can speak. Uh, good morning. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm, yeah, that, I'm excited to see if Ted can't answer all the questions before you do. That's kind of uh, right. That's yeah. how that works. <laughs> well, well, you know, we could we could start out with some questions and then segue into the, uh, the, the some of the uh, photos and stuff like that because there are a lot of fun photos in there and so forth. So let me start out, you know, easy. Don't want you to cramp up and be playing. <laughs> so, where are you from? I am from Adalissa, Iowa. In really? Adalissa, Adalissa, Iowa. Yep. People live down, there, huh? <laughs> did you live in an apartment down there? No, Adalissa? I lived on a farm with my grandma and oh, grandpa, that, the Shapnitz. Yeah. yeah, I was the last house that went to Wilton School. Everybody wow. else on the, further went to West Liberty. Hmm. Oh, that's and, unique. <laughs> yeah. And, and you live next to Hib and Ina Jensen, right? Yes. Okay. If that, if that helps your GPS work out for people that are watching this show. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so where'd you go to school then? Did you go to school in Wilton? I did go to school in Wilton. Until... Did you graduate? No. And when I was a sophomore, I moved out to California. Wow. Oh, now, is this a, a high school photo yeah. De yes. of Debbie? She was the sweetheart queen in 1969. That's Donnie Reif. Yeah, standing FFA, up there. FFA sweetheart queen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she actually, that crown you see on her head, we still have it. She stole it. I didn't steal it. I didn't steal it. What? Yeah, technically she didn't steal it. I, what happened was I, I wasn't there to give it to the next person because I moved to California. Right. And, so, uh, so, and my grandma couldn't find it. And so I have it. It's beautiful. <laughs> that's an, I that's an on air it. confession. <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah, but. So that was nice that your grandma did that for you. So, yeah. you know, we're going to talk to you about your roller, <laughs> about your roller derby career. Okay. But you want to kind of, you know, there's always driving forces behind what motivates people. So, was there anything in your childhood that would have indicated? your future profession did anything happen that goes i want to do that well actually it was kind of uh, what do you call it? serendipitous um we I, I always laugh when like kamala harris says everybody loves a ye little yellow school bus we hated the bus the bus was you never <laughs> knew what was going to happen on the bus we didn't hate it we learned great songs inappropriate jokes <laughs> and we were bullied constantly by the because of the high school students down through but not too badly but anyway i was there my brothers were younger than i and i was i think maybe in fifth grade so they were little maybe kindergarten first grade and there was a fart boys and we're in high school and they just kept bullying my brother uh, john because he had a big mouth and he they would just go on and on and finally and I didn't like my brothers that much either. I mean, you know, they were my little brothers, I, you know. But I got up, turned around, and I said, you don't bother my brothers. And, <laughs> they, and I'm this little waif of a thing. I mean, just a, you know, blonde hair and a little tiny thing. And they just went, all right, uh, bleach blonde bomber. We'll don't leave you, alone. you bother my brothers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, beach, beach Blonde Bomber. And then I became a roller derby star. And that's what they called, uh, who was it? Beach Blonde Bomber that was, was Joni Weston. Joni Weston. Who, so, who we met 30 years ago. Yeah. So I don't know. They must have seen something in me. 
Oh, there's one there. Uh, that's uh, boy, that is that's an old one there. I think that was our first. Game. That was our first game. Yeah. We were actually, I wasn't at T Bird yet. We were actually on the same team together. Yep. Aww. And uh, so that would have been like 1978, probably yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, that's the Detroit Devil team, which. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> which I had, uh, had my claim to fame made later on. But so let's continue on some questions here. Okay, here's a good one. Okay. Now, that's the main camera. Don't look at that uh, camera. Look I'm at looking at you. Okay. <laughs> well, you should. All right. Besides me, did you have any sports stars that you looked up to as a child? <laughs> I Wait mean, a like, did you did you like <laughs> Hank Aaron as a baseball player or Ted Williams? I no, it threw me off. I don't. Yeah, let me think. But I mean, I don't want to include myself because that's an obvious. I answer. obviously yes. Well, I love my roller derby coaches. Is that what you're talking oh, about? No. I don't know. As a child. <laughs> oh, well, I was little. That, yeah. Was there anybody in the sports world besides me? That you would have, you know, looked up to her. That, that's a. I like that basketball player. I like that. No, player. I didn't. Who watched that? I was on a farm. I was out riding my pony. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, well, this one's. A, I always like this one because the diva prima donna never worked on her own skates. Never. That's, that's Ralphie Valadares tightening her trucks. We did that was on a TV show called Private Eye with Josh yeah. Brolin and and uh, James Woods. Ralphie always adjusted my skates. From the time I started skating, you adjust them according to weight. You adjust them according to um, agility or how, how you want it to move. The trucks on some of them were so loose. The really good skates, they just rattle up and down. Yeah. So uh, there's Ralphie and John. John and they Ralph. were both my coaches. Yep. Yep. Ralphie Valadares was from Guatemala. And um, he has amazing background and story, and I would say he was the most famous. Probably so. And John and Ralph, Derby. John and, John, John and Ralph also in the '60s and '70s, they were tremendous rivals, uh, opposing each oh, other. Right. So Ralphie was like five foot two, but could skate, and if he hit, if he hit you, it felt like you'd been shot. Oh, yeah. And uh, John was he's like, a tiny little guy, like and five John, two. And John was like hmm. six one, six yeah. two, two ten, and so it was the the contrast made for a great rivalry. And, Oh, oh that's yeah. the uh, Fantasy Island show. Yes. Right? And yeah. oh, is this part of? Part of it, yeah. We're warming so up. So you, or... so you were on Fantasy Island, and yeah. I, I think that we can see part of it here. Let me pull that up while we talk. So what? Okay. Well, you, I mean, there's on. so many things that we can talk about that. You we had, had a lot curious. of fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fa Fantasy there's Island. There's so many was, things. It was uh, shot at Warner Brothers. Uh, yeah. If you. We always like Blazing Saddles, the ending season, uh, scene where they all come running out of the studio because that's the entrance and we went in for the Fantasy Island episode. Yeah. But that was back in 82. And right. a lot of a lot of fun memories from that. That was about a week solid of shooting on stage four there. Yep. There's Vic. Oh, yeah, I think we knocked him down. Yeah. Vic, Vic's... Uh, okay. All right. Here there, we are. There, 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 yeah, jumping over, over him. But Fantasy Island had that uh, be careful of what you wish for theme always going on. He wanted to be a major league uh, sports coach. There's W. Lee in the back there. And uh, they made him coach of... Hey, buddy, what are you doing there, huh? Oh, yeah, here. Look, uh, come on, girl. Shove me get to the front. <laughs> Debbie, get behind Pinky <laughs> Cuscadero. You, are, you have to go to the, uh, the feathers. I'm oh, yeah, featured more in the feathers. Told me you're a new yeah, she was, she was on uh, Happy Days. She was Pinky so Cuscadero. I don't know who that one was. He's save us. No, no, no. But uh, I, yeah, so we had a, had a lot of fun uh, and a lot of good. Oh, yeah, oh boy, that was a good one. Girls know how I can <laughs> but uh, you're probably seeing some photos of uh, Ricardo Montalban. Pittsburgh Steelers already oh, had. Ricardo was the nicest, nicest man. Too afraid man. to admit that you're army. There I am. I'm right over the shoulder. I know where to be in the camera. That was a fun face. So, so let me see. So we didn't have any childhood sports stars that you looked up to. Uh, <laughs> I was a cheerleader. All right, I got. Oh, I have there you go. This is, this is part of the announcers' union requirement. Oh, there's Ricardo Montalban oh, and yeah. Tyler. That's our, that's our oldest boy. He Tyler. was like uh, five at the time, I think. Five. Yeah. yeah, about five yeah. years old. Yeah. And Ricardo was so kind and sweet. I mean, just the like, nicest gentleman you'd ever want to know. Yeah. Aww. And he had a terrible limp. You know, he'd been injured badly back in the 40s oh. the with a horse accident, Molly. Oh, and, uh, good to know. So a lot of his scenes, if you look <laughs> at them on Fantasy Island, they will show him taking a step or two and then cut. 
because he could do a step oh. or two, but then the, uh, a really a very severe limp would come in because his leg had been pretty much destroyed. So. Oh wow. Okay, now I, I'm obligated. Oh, there, oh there. Yes. <laughs> And we were told specifically to not lean down and talk to um, tattoo. tattoo, and that we were to, um, you know, uh, be very careful when we were addressing him. And it, you know, he evidently had a lot of issues with a lot of different things, but um, he he was very nice. Uh, I was on the top of the rail, just minding my own business, and he had to climb up the rail and took me by the little finger and came down to take pictures with him Aww. so yeah and you couldn't hear him his voice no but, but you weren't supposed to lean over to hear him so it was like oh your voice was like i just nod my head yeah i don't know what oh. i think but Okay, let me let me get these stock questions out of the way. So don't buy, like, <laughs> Chad, okay, Chad's really uh, excited about this. So, <laughs> okay, are you married? Uh, am I married? <laughs> yes, I am. Do you have kids? I do. Does your husband <laughs> work? Not anymore. <laughs> did he ever work? Yes. What did he do for work? <laughs> we never really knew what Ted did. My all the children and I, we didn't know. He did something. <laughs> he traveled. We always thought he was in Houston. We're not really sure. It had to do with very um, uh, high end security for like railroads and oh, that things must, like that. That must have been what he told you. Yeah. Well, well, so let's, <laughs> let's get down to it for our fans. How did you ever get involved in roller derby, being a little athlete? Yeah. yeah. Going graduated. out at sophomore year? That's crazy. Yeah, I went I went to high school. I graduated from Beverly Hills High School. So I went from Adelissa and Wilton School, which was wonderful, but what, I had 54 kids in my class. Yeah, right. To going to school with Carrie Fisher. Um, <gasps> I, there were so many of them. Don Knott's daughter. I mean, there's too many to even Corbin. Uh, Benson. Benson. And um, it was a culture shock for sure. But uh, their their school was amazing. Uh, I, you couldn't. I mean, it was a college. But then I also went to finishing school. My mom paid for me to go to finishing school and modeling school. And uh, so wow. then moved back here to go to. Uh, I really was homesick. It was hard an adjustment for me. Moved back here. Uh, went to college back here. Married Ted and my mom uh, and stepdad. My stepdad. <laughs> Had in, when did that happen? Had invented a what's called a quick safe <laughs> valve, and it oh. shuts off gas in case <gasps> of a um, earthquake. Earthquake. So we went oh. out to help with that business, and my mom found us an amazing uh, duplex, an unbelievable old um, Spanish duplex. And Tyler was a year and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. And so Tyler and I were standing on the corner, and uh, he was playing in the yard, and this guy on this motorcycle rah, 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 comes up and goes, I'd like to do, take pictures of you. And I'm going, I'm, I'm married. I'm married. I, I have a little boy. Your husband can come, too. Oh, okay. He gave me his card. Oh, that's oh, a typical day in the morning. Oh, yeah. Right? We were all, it was always something that you're doing, like, that made no sense for promotions, but... <laughs> So this anyway, was a promotion? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I didn't wear that all the time. That was our son, Tucker, in the forum. Yeah. And then Tyler said, yeah. a little, little older now. Yep. And we lived in what, Phillips what was Ranch. Where you were you, you Mel? What is it? I, I have no idea what it was for. Some promotion, though. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, huh. this guy, uh, Ron Birkenblit, was taking photos of the um, roller derby at the time and invited us down for game. And we went down and watched it. And it was amazing. Young people doing acrobatic stuff on skates. It was unbelievable. So good. And so different from what I thought. And they were looking to change the image at that time. Um, they just wanted to get away from the big truck driver kind of thing. And truthfully, I don't know where any, everybody <laughs> got that because it wasn't. There were some big girls. No, but they that, had wonderfully talented just, athletic that people. That was just a competitive. Oh, this is my favorite. Wow. Movie. Yeah, that was uh, called the lateral, and um, I kind of feel bad for Lori because that had to hurt when I took her down like that. And look at the look at the spectators; they're in awe. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's how we got started. We were interested, and uh, Ted was really interested. I was like, oh, I like, I don't know, and uh, we ended up. Um, well, I'll tell him. You don't just go down there and they put you in skates and go. So what was it like <laughs> to learn how to skate on a bank track? It was, I had never done any team sports because in Wilton, I did 
cheerleading, but girls were not allowed to have sports, which Mm -hmm. is absolutely crazy. And so I never did team sports. So here I am in a team sport like football. I can't skate, you know, much at all on a bank track. It was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And that's uh, L.A. T-Birds from about 79 or 80. Yeah, I, I think, think so. There's yeah. skinny mini. Yeah. And yeah. So is this the men, <clears throat> men's and women's team? Yeah. It is. And the women skated against the women and the men against the men, unless you had a match race. And sometimes that got mixed up. But um, but they were. it was really tough, really hard. We would uh, train three to four times a week, three to four hours wow. at a time. And um, I, I've just never done anything harder than that. That, but it was worth it. Definitely worth it. Huh. Mm. So, so okay. So where and how did you train? We trained at the um, Pico Rivera uh, skating rink, and we trained uh, on a bank track with, with Ralph and with John. Okay. And we did everything: pacing. We learned to jump. We learned to block. Yeah. Um, well, I can attest it was the hardest thing I've ever done yeah. athletically. I mean, yeah. I, I, half the time I looked like I'd been in a car wreck. <laughs> uh, so how long did it take you before you skated your first game? I, how long was it? I think a few months. Yeah, just a few months. Only a Would few you, months? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I wasn't good. No, I, I mean, I <laughs> they, they, would, they would put you out there. I don't know what your first game was uh, like, but I got out there. White kill. Yeah, or were yeah, you like well, fresh meat? Is that how it yeah, went? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. It's called white kill. Go down, go out, get knocked down, yeah. and, and keep getting up. You know, that's, that was that's it. That's a little inside baseball terminology there. Yeah. But I remember my, my first game, I'm skating, and it's just like I'm in a cocoon, and John Hall is skating beside me, and I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, hit me, <laughs> hit me, <laughs> hit me. So I finally yeah. hit him and goes, okay. And now I'm like, <laughs> I mean, it was just, I had no idea what was going well, on. Well, then you have to be careful because you're, you're supposed to go, you, you need to be going up and down the track sideways. And if you get somebody's skates caught, no one will, <gasps> no one's like that. In fact, you know, as, you, as, you, that. as you get better, we had a, we had a girl, a new girl, and she shouldn't have been out there, you know, I mean, but there was a day I shouldn't have been out there, but she just kept tripping my friend, Rena and I. And finally I said, okay, on the next, no, she was on the other team. And I just said, on the next turn, we're taking her out. Just push her into the penalty box. So we, we pushed her in the penalty box. She broke her leg. I mean, Rena and I just went. Oh yeah. We didn't mean that. A lot, a lot of publications you were involved with. Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got a little list of the resume here. Yeah. Let me see. Fit Magazine, Adweek, Time Magazine, LA. There's a lot of promotions. Uh, everybody, it was always a thing of interest, and yeah. a, and usually mm-hmm. there was a television show once a year that would have a roller derby episode where they were either yeah. running drugs through a roller derby team yeah, or, yeah. Or, <laughs> running drugs oh well, yeah that, that was the episode i was on with fall guy the, the team was being used as a front to push <laughs> oh it was there was always something but it was it was so much fun and i would ralph and i went out a lot to do promos in advance that's when we started traveling more mm-hmm. so we went all over the country mexico puerto rico trinidad it was, um, wow. and, then we, and because I spoke Spanish, I was able to do the Me- Mexico interviews. Puerto Rico, oh. though, Ralph and I got up there, and they speak so fast. My eyes just went, I had no idea what they said. I just looked at Ralph. Oh. What? Where was it at? Oh. The headline in the news. Tell them about that. Oh, we were in Puerto Rico. And, I get no respect. And I was, uh, <laughs> we went out on advance, and of course, there's no, if Ted did skate, uh, on the what other team. Well, skate? you didn't always skate against us. You didn't well, always skate against us. You seem like a subpar player. Well, you know, everybody's hurt. Let's we'll see if Ted can when, skate. When we skated on opposing teams, yes. no one knew we were married. I mean, his name was Mara. Mine was Garvey. And uh, so I went to Puerto Rico and we're skating. And I did advance. Ted came out with the kids later. So I was there probably, what? Talking, talking about month, Mr. Ma. A month in advance <laughs> doing PR, doing, you know, so... I kept noticing we were skating some games and these handsome young men and older men are bringing <laughs> me flowers and I'm just going, you know, that's not unusual, but this was a lot. And I'm, I'm looking <laughs> at them and so my friend, Patsy Delgado, her mom started reading the paper and the, the story was that my husband had left me with the two <gasps> young boys and, listen to this, he took all the furniture. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. And so these guys were bringing me roses. They're trying to take me out. I'm just, oh. yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's Fantasy Island. There's okay. the headdress. And there's my friend, Rena. De la, no, Rena La Maestra. Mm -hmm. And she was a great friend. We skated together. And this is the outfit that they were in for the majority of the action Skating shot. with the headdress on. Yes. Really? And the long robes. Long robes. That was, yeah. that was a tough thing Whoa. to pull off. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that can't be very safe. But I guess I guess oh, roller derby's we, not really we, Super we get safe. it done. We get it done. <laughs> so, so before he started traveling, we skated. You skated Olympic down, Auditorium. Olymp Olympic Auditorium. Yeah. It was built for the wow. 1932 Olympics. Yeah. And uh, every Saturday night at the Olympic Auditorium. Oh, my gosh. And, I mean, it was, oh, you felt like you got run over with a truck when you were done. But when we traveled, mm. it was worse because we do double headers. Mm -hmm. So you're oh. skating and then you're skating it. I mean, we got bruises on bruises on bruises. It, but uh, by, the end of, by the end of a week tour, we were We were so good. in shape. Oh my gosh. It was, it was something. <laughs> Is that the prime reason? I'm, like, you guys keep talking about how beat up and hit by trucks and bruised you were. Like, what, what's well, quite, the appeal? Quite, <laughs> quite, quite frankly, Molly, after I retired from skating, I was like 34, 35, I forget what. I felt better at age 50 than I did when I was in my 20s because nothing hurt anymore. <laughs> I mean, every, morning, every morning you'd get up and things just, you know, it's like, oh. But wasn't that. You get, when you were really in shape, there was nothing. Nothing was harder for you out of shape to do than that. Imagine trying to skate. And fall down and get up and fall down and get up. Uh, uh, but no. if, you were, <laughs> if you were in shape, on a bank track, so you get knocked down, you've lost all momentum, now you're scrambling on a bank track, get up, dig in, mm -hmm. and run through the whole pack and, to score. And that's the fantasy I yeah. set there. That's some action sequences. Uh, they actually shot most of the day. They'd, they'd skate yeah. around wow. a few laps, do a stunt, and then cut, bring on the double. It was great fun, though. Great fun. Yep. Yeah. It was, a, it was a family. I mean, we traveled with the kids. Well, I'm, you kind of you kind of diffused one of my questions. Oh, sorry. Since we, we've determined that your husband wasn't really working, <laughs> was he able to travel with? And my husband was working. We kept. Well, he stole the furniture, jobs. right? So yeah. I mean, yeah, he well, ran off that, with the kids that, and that took all the furniture. Ran, that money eventually ran out. I had to. And get then him. he had to go back to oh. work after he sold the furniture. I so, see. Um, I see. <laughs> So he was, um, and not always, often we traveled together with the children, so it was great. And then uh, sometimes I would go out in advance and then he would meet me and then we would take the bus or wherever it was. I mean, we went through the jungles of Mexico to traveling through, you know, um, literally America, you know, yeah. and mm -hmm. it was just a great time. Well, the of, kids had a wonderful time. Out of all those places you skated, what's your most memorable or which one was your favorite place that you skated? Actually, believe it or not, it was, um, um, Hart no, not Hartford. Hartford was really good. Connecticut, no. Madison Square Garden? Madison Square Garden was amazing, but I was kind of scared. Mm -hmm. And then there was, that was full. And no, it was the one not in Cincinnati, but Cleveland. Cleveland. Cleveland was amazing. Oh, and St. Louis. Oh my gosh. St. Louis was St. Louis was my brother was oh, there. It was full. But um, Puerto Rico was was really good. Uh, Mexico City was amazing. Mexico City was high so that we had to have an oxygen tank. And oh, that's we so were, interesting. <clears throat> When we were going out, they were such fans that they were pulling our, our pads, our um, elbow pads and stuff. I mean, it was it was really scary. Got in the buses and the fans started rocking the buses. <gasps> it, it was it was quite it was quite scary. And but, it looks like Chuck Norris himself is one of your fans. Oh, uh, you know what? He was the nicest guy. I worked at St. Anne's School. I was there. Um, CEO, no, what was I? CFO. C CFO, yes. And he was amazing. I got to meet some of the most wonderful people. It was a uh, private uh, <clears throat> school. Oh, a lot of money there. Their Christmas and, parties were Oh, my bottom. gosh. And it was so much fun. And he was just, he was one of many celebrities that sent their children there. And Kate got to go there sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So oh, yeah. the CEO of Kettle One Vodka was, had his kids there. He did the martini bar every Christmas. Oh my gosh! Frozen ice sculptures where the, where the martini would come. Yeah, out it was stuff. amazing. How, how, how long did you skate, actually? I I'm still not over Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Cleveland was wonderful. <clears throat> 
That's when I had to go on a date. <laughs> then I had to go on a date. <laughs> she's she's with Chuck Norris. They won a date with a roller derby star. And this guy was so nice. And he brought me a diamond jewelry. And I'm going, no, I can't Oh, wow. <laughs> and, oh, my God. Dad, we've got a cassette tape of that show somewhere. Oh. I can find that. Anyway, uh, that's I hilarious. About, I don't remember. Your date? No, not the date. <laughs> How long was your skating oh, career? Oh, uh, from '78 oh, till when did we do Charlie's Angels? 2002. So how long is that? 78 to 2002. This is one of my favorite. Do yeah, I, I love concert. that. Uh, Rena, Darlene, Patsy, Debbie Heldon, yep. and Little Debbie taking yep. the whip. Yeah, they did several of those shots. That's just one of them. But yeah, that was uh, they would send those across the country for the promos Promo when, they, shots. when they come yep. in. Yeah, but oh, we we skated Canada as well. Oh yeah, all through Canada yeah. and so forth. So <laughs> let's talk about that last time you skated. Oh, uh, Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels, two thousand two. <gasps> yeah. Uh, by this time, two thousand two, you hadn't actively skated for almost ten years. I, oh. It was in Detroit at the Palace at Auburn Hills when we skated one last game. That was a legit game. Ten years Ooh. go by, yeah. nine years go by, and suddenly the call goes out. They're doing a Charlie's Angels full throttle movie. The and, roller derby. And the concept is that the Angels can do everything. So one of the segments Ooh. at the start is they're driving a race car or they're samurai swords or whatever. One of the segments was they were L.A. T-Bird roller derby stars. It was so much fun. Ooh. And Kate was like, what, 13, 14 at the time? 13 or 14. <laughs> she was very tall. And she actually was the um, un stunt, double. stunt double for Cameron Diaz. Oh, so really? So that was awesome. Yeah. And Kate's friend, and Valerie. And Valerie was for um, uh, Drew, Drew, uh, Drew um, Barrymore. Barrymore. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what it ended up is that no one would step forward to do the choreograph, and they needed they needed it. So I signed on to, to choreograph what was going on so that the girls would have you know what to do to make them look good and and uh, i'm still getting checks not not big Whoa. ones 15 bucks you know but for, still yeah yeah we've, so we've i get a phone to, sag we've been able to afford new furniture <laughs> as a result <laughs> this has worked out really well for the morrow family Thrift store furniture <laughs> yes, yes yeah but that was uh that was great fun, so great fun. Did, did you do any other I'm, I'm looking at the list here you did, you did about, i don't remember you doing trapper john's show I must have. If I put it down. Well, <laughs> now Molly doesn't know any of these shows. I know. No, I sure Molly, don't. I'm, I'm sorry. Show, I'm going to name a show, and you tell me to stop if you've heard of it. Fall oh, guy. stop if I heard it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I thought guy. you were Fall. stopping him already. Fall guy. Have you heard the Fall guy? No, she doesn't know any of these. Trapper John, Fantasy Island. You know Fantasy. That what yeah. Fantasy Island? I do, but right. only because of Bugs Bunny. How, so, about, how about Sheriff Lobo? Probably not. No. Um, Let me see. These are all local stuff here. A lot of like uh, promos for TV going in, they like the local like, studios. Like Paula Sands does a show here in. in oh, in they yeah, they, do like that. they yeah. would they would do a thing, and usually the the. Oh, we did game shows too. Oh yeah, game oh, shows. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So. We always did. Oh, we did different commercials. Um, Ted actually did a Budweiser commercial as a yes. roller derby referee, and so he did that. So we, we saw both, that one. <laughs> we both had national commercials run, which is well, and, out of this world. I don't even know how that happened. That was my winning of the lottery. Um, it was amazing. I mean, I would and go you are, to that. You're on, you're on Sports Illustrated in the back there, aren't you? Isn't that a cover? That well, is Fit Magazine. <laughs> well, uh, one of the, uh, oh, that, did you edit it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Photoshop thing. Yeah. That's, you that's fooled me, birthday. Ted. <laughs> Is Debbie Garvey washed up at 60? Yeah. I was like, dang, yeah. you. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. But, <laughs> wow, but you the, fooled me. Somewhere in that bunch of pictures I, uh, pictures I sent uh, Chad is uh, Fit Magazine. She yeah. was in that. 1982 <laughs> and a lot of a lot of you know newspapers we would go into most cities had been the ma major interview with all of them we just mm -hmm. it would just go from one place to radio to newspaper to and as in mexico as well so this was uh for the detroit free press that okay. was in 93 that's we we actually actually came out of semi-retirement to do that yeah. game i mean i don't know where this came from <laughs> Our promoter bamboozled their promoter, and we wound up going and skating where the Detroit Pistons played basketball. And it was a freezing cold night. Oh, they had, it was, yeah. They had to paper the house. There were like 13,000 people there. Yeah. 
Oh. And this is a little bit of the promo they did for the upcoming uh, for the upcoming game. That's Debbie in the center there. And is that Darlene? I didn't I didn't think that was Darlene. I can't tell. They say it is. Must have yeah, been. It's yeah. Dar- it says Darlene. Yeah. By this time, when we skated that game, they were doing the uh, figure eight game uh, that had the alligator pit. If you ever oh, saw yeah. that. Well, we, the fans had come out to see what that was. Well, there was nothing there, so they put a little inflatable swimming pool in one of the turks. <laughs> we didn't do that. We didn't do that. We yeah. didn't. We weren't in that mess. <laughs> but at the end of that game, they blew it off with Harold getting thrown into the yeah. Swimming That's pool. Fit Magazine. We actually, I actually did that interview on the way to Mexico, sitting in the airport at LAX. So um, wow. And with what I had on, it was like okay, sure, <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I'm just going to fly on a plane. I don't need to look glamorous or anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, oh, (laughs) and I didn't even know. I'm going, all right. (laughs) Yeah, you just had to be ready. But I still have my skates and uh, still skating. I, you know, not. I was just going to ask, when was the last time you laced up the skates? Oh, that would have been, what, a couple months ago. I went to the uh, Eldridge. The so, Eldridge. So what did you do? Ralphie passed away 20 years ago. Uh, Who laced him up for you? Actually, I laced him up, but Tyler did my trucks did the for truck me. For yeah. <laughs> so what came out of that, and this is for you sports fans out there, is Lori Sabres, the worst skater you've <laughs> ever seen. Well, I don't know. We both fell down and hit our head. So I, I think we're kind of both there together. Well, so. we didn't have you on video, but we got we got a clip of Lori Sabres really hitting. Yeah, me. that is yeah. true. We do. So at this late date, any plans on coming out of retirement at all or you never say never i've learned you well, never say never well see now <laughs> it, it was a, it was a rough sport you yeah know, people always like eh, the take is it from? well it was no. just rough it was rough so i have two new knees out of it right i have two new hips but how did you <gasps> get those two new hips well i think my hip especially the left one because that's where how i would fall i would fall with my hip left hip down on the track please answer the question the question is i was riding someone else's horse i was jumping <laughs> And fell jumping and broke my hip, my left hip. Then, four years later, I was riding someone else's horse. My horses, I never broke anything. And fell and broke the other hip. Actually, the leg, but it was so high oh, up there. Oh, owie. So, yeah. so, Molly, what have you learned from Debbie's experience? <laughs> You're going to come ride my horse, which <laughs> you will not fall off of. You I, I learned my parents are going to be very happy of watching this episode. <laughs> Uh, you, you need if you do get a horse, make sure it's a Shetland pony, so you only fall. Oh, about oh no, they're from hell. They're demons. <laughs> Don't do that. I have a rocky well, this, like riding a goat. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show this because we have so many different awesome things to show. But I wanted to see this commercial, and so I'll watch it along with the viewers. But okay, this oh, is okay. the IBM Charlie Chaplin commercial from 1984. Yeah, De- Debbie had to. She went to a, a cattle call out at Valley Garden Skating Rink, and there were literally 500 girls going after that part that Debbie played. That's <gasps> true. I can't believe Whoa. I got it. She plays the part of Millie, which is the love, the interest, love interest of yeah. the Charlie Chaplin character. That's but her right there. Yep, you'll see me as I come along. So I, Ralphie was in this too. Yep, so I went to the final casting call where there were five girls that they were considering. They all looked like sisters. I mean, they could have picked, huh. you know, and it was just kind of a luck of the draw. There was something they saw. In fact, wait, the, my big thing's coming here up. It here it comes. Here it comes. Hold on. Hold on. There she is. Hold on. <laughs> That's awesome. It gets better. It gets better. Oh, as the love interest, she's admiring the Charlie Chaplin character from IBM. And here it comes. Emmy time, yep. Emmy time. Yep. <laughs> I, got to, I got to hold my hand. <laughs> but uh, we, we were watching some of the rushes on the Moviola, which they still had back then, and uh, the director uh, came up, and he was just looking over our shoulder, and he says, there was just something about her that glowed that came off the film. Oh, I don't remember that. I must have been too Aww. scared. <laughs> and, well, that's a good one, Chad. Yeah, that's, that, that's one I, I took. I don't remember them saying that. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. an awesome photo. Yeah. It, it looks like you're, like I said before the show, like you're on the set of a 1950s sci-fi adventure. Really? You know, we, yeah. We, were, we filmed that for a week. It was the most fun. The theme of that came from Charlie Chaplin's movie from like the 20s, which is, uh, I forget the title of it, but that was 
supposed to be reminiscent of that time. And yeah, yeah, Billy Scudder ran that part for he a long time. he actually played the Charlie Chaplin character at Knott's Berry Farm, mm -hmm. and that's where they recruited him from for the IBM thing. He he was the IBM theme guy for probably four or five years, I suppose. <clears throat> But that was awesome. I was working in uh, marketing at the time, and it was uh, my son was only our son. Sorry, your, your oh. children are in prison. My, I keep forgetting yeah, his children my, my are in prison. My children are in jail. We're yeah. almost ready to get out. <laughs> well, it's always my children, so his must be in jail somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, I was able to quit work and stay home with him. I mean, I would walk to the mailbox and get a two thousand dollar check. It was wow. amazing. And that, that was my and lottery. That, and that is the lure of yeah, Hollywood. Of, it is. Of why yeah. young girls and young boys get off the bus. For that one chance, you in know. In Hollywood, at Hollywood and Vine. There's no bus station there, but I'm using <laughs> that imagery. But, uh, yeah, it's just the lure. What was the uh, Dire Straits song? Money for nothing, chicks for free? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's kind of Hollywood. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this rollers. was fun. Yeah. Yeah, Bill Wondrum wrote this article. Now, we had dinner with him. He was uh, good friends with George and Thelma right. Anopoulos. And so we went to dinner with him before we, we were back here for a year, and then we went back to California for 20 years. Before we came back here, we just can't make up yeah. our minds where we want to live. But uh, That's because we never knew where Ted really was when he was working. We're, we're <laughs> Houston, <laughs> Dallas, we don't know. I... And now, I'm the highest rated television show in Wilton, Iowa. That's oh, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The residual checks just yeah, keep Chad, coming. Chad, Chad but... my check hasn't got here. You... <laughs> What's up? Yeah, well, your $2,000 checks are coming, man. You'll be opening your mailbox on a weekly basis. Just... Uh, well, I, I got to go down and get the mail today. I'll look for I'll it I'll get then. the mail, honey. I'll, no, get... No, I'll, get, I'll get the mail. We used to rate, when we both had commercials, we'd race each other. Because it's a 13-week pay cycle, yeah. right? First oh. check out of the 13 weeks is the big one. No, no, then there's no. like four or five smaller ones. And then by the end, it's like 12. Well, yours was before mine. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so it was pretty much done. But we'd, we'd race each other to the yeah. mailbox at the time of month when the check would show up. Whoever got the check got to cash it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it helped a lot. <laughs> so that's that's kind of there's a lot that's more it. that we can talk about, but Did, people, yeah, when that's see, crazy. When they see Debbie out mowing the lawn, oh, I don't mow or, the lawn. <laughs> uh, when they see Debbie outside watching me mow the lawn, there you go. With they, the, they'll know a little bit more about her back. Uh, I'm a star. I can't do uh, How would you? Yes, uh, the see, diva continues. I love it. <laughs> see, see, the show will be over, and I have to live with this. So, <laughs> do you ever roller skate around Wilton? No, not outside. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Are you kidding? <laughs> what, do we look like fools? <laughs> no. In fact, the reason I fell the last time I had outdoor skates on, or wheels on, and I, I'm used to crossing over, and they're big, and I went, I hit my own wheel and went. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, oh, no. I, those are gone. Oh, now I just skate. <laughs> My son, Tyler, rented an entire rink so that I would start skating <gasps> again. So I would not be afraid that someone would knock me down. And it worked. I did it. Wow. Only, only That's takes so one cute. time. I know. <laughs> I love my kids. I and Tyler is here in Wilton with uh, Melissa and my two grandkids, Zella and Ray. And then our daughter, Kate, is in San Diego with her husband, with Orion, who's one, two. Mm -hmm. And then Tucker's in L.A. He's an editor Yeah. Uh, in L.A. He just, and... he just got off the show uh, Yellow Jackets. He was uh, oh, wow. assistant editor on that. So now he's doing something else. I don't know I, what. I can never remember the names of them. He tells me, and I never know. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. So that's a stardom. That's yeah. great. That's, again, another example of Wilton. Like, how many just unique, wonderful yes. people and storied histories. Oh, it is. I mean, uh, well, what's fun now is that Tyler runs Los Rios Rock School with over 200 students and a staff of, I don't know, 30 teachers. Mm -hmm. And he does wow. that. It's in San Juan Capistrano, and he does uh -huh. it from here. So that <gasps> is amazing. And That is so, amazing. Uh, yes. And so that's, that's a difference of when Ted and I were growing up. You didn't mm -hmm. have those kinds of of opportunities and now you can do anything wow. we're, we're trying to convince our daughter who's an architect and my son-in-law was a aerospace, aerospace engineer to come back because they could work from here it's not it working very well here. right now but we're working on it. <laughs> yeah there you go well i see this oh one. my goodness I, we didn't well, talk about several of the yeah, photos show business, but, uh, show business is hard movie. to get out of your system 
But, they may, these are the things Ted makes me do. I am just telling you. This, <laughs> this is just down here. in the bunker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what on, what just, is this from? I turn on the black light and then make Debbie wear this outfit. And it's just, it's, it's really This good. was from. Um, this was a play, Molly. Oh, is it? Uh, is it one of the? Temple. Yeah, I, was, I wondered about that. Yeah, Barbie and Ken. I'm glad it's a play because it was funny. kind of creepy to think of you making Debbie just dress up and. That was really freaky to, for me to think of too. <laughs> I know this is the Tonight Friday. Show. <laughs> and that, that play was written by Becky Allgood. And yes. was it? Yeah. And, oh, and that's ben awesome. Brown. Ben Brown played Ken. Played Ken. Oh, yeah. look at you guys. Uh, we had so much fun. And then G.I. Joe was Corey Freeman. Corey Freeman you should redo Joe. this since the Barbie movie's coming out. I, that would make yeah. so much sense. That's what Ben just said. He goes, mm-hmm. we got to bring this back. Well, maybe, I you know, love it. So. And you said Becky wrote the, the script yes. for that? Yeah. Oh, wow, that that's hilarious. awesome. Yes, Becky and her sisters. Yep. Yeah. Uh, her, her older sister Debbie's a real good. Really writer. good, and it was hilarious. And and then <laughs> of course Ben and Corey started ad libbing, and I'm just of standing course. there going, "Oh, what's going on?" So it was really good. <laughs> so we we stay busy. Yeah. Yes. Well, <laughs> makes and me. <laughs> on that note, we should we oh. have gone very close to time, but it's time for word of the day, Debbie. Word of the did, day. Okay. All right, here we go. Kind of brief you on this he, he did i'm sure i won't oh, know good. It, molly okay <laughs> it relates to today's show okay Uh-oh. there's a, we covered a lot though so that's not super helpful Whoa. french Re- i spoke spanish i speak recherche. 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 that's a hard one I'm, to say. Go- I'm going with ricochet just because it sounds the that's same sa- <laughs> it sounds very similar yep um, oh, boy, I don't know. An Recherche. adjective. Hmm. Oh, it is an adjective. Well, that won't work. Uh, I don't know. I, I and Chad didn't say anything one. solid. Like you got it. <laughs> so I don't think it's right. It, it's not ricochet. Huh. I feel like. Ricochet. Uh, maybe like tenacity. Savoir faire, la I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you just throwing out French words now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Getting, uh, you're getting close. Rare, exotic, ah. or ah. obscure. Oh, okay. Very good. See, That's I was going the French. other way. Like, <laughs> the well, physicality so, of it. And it looks like the road. popularity is skyrocketing wow. right now. The candidate's huh. resume was a testament to her recherche background, <laughs> highlighting her well-traveled experiences and prolific media Ooh. presence. Wow, well, that, sounds, that works that out really like well. Oh my goodness, I'm honored. <laughs> On the cover of Sports <laughs> Illustrated, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pit Magazine, and all sorts of other well, things that we didn't even get a chance to show. Right in there. That's really good. Well, I just remember the first show we did, Chad put the thing up and it was dullard. And it was, you know. I know, I know what that is, dullard. You know what dullard is? Oh. Oh, that the word of the day. First, I was like, first show, yeah, no, that yeah. was. <laughs> if that's not a sign. <laughs> anyway, so it has been so fun, Debbie. Yeah. This has we'll been great. We'll have to great. have you back. You, you should be back. a reoccurring guest oh, yes. because you guys, you guys are so much fun. Thank you. This is this yeah. Was, this, this is, is so really fun. Great. Now, Ted, how was the show for you today, though? I think that's the real. Well, it was. I was under a lot of pressure. You mm-hmm. know, I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Before the show, I, I kind of built that set behind me and had yeah. the camera, and, and I, I knew she would change everything, and, and she did. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but I made it through. So this this was a you know next next you week's did it. guest next week's guest is uh, Mayor Bob, ex Mayor oh. Bob. So. Oh, oh, that'll be great! Man. I can't uh, wait. Yeah. So he's he's got a tough act to follow here. <laughs> That's right. So before we go, we want to do a check of the calendars. Since we are talking on Wilton Wednesday, let's check Wilton's calendar, their library calendar, to see what's going on. I was ready for you today, Molly. Yes. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> so here's the Wilton Library's Yes, main and their page. Facebook page has so many amazing pictures. Amazing race day. Looks like it was, was that yesterday? The days blend together. Oh, there it that is. Dungeons tomorrow. and Dragons coming. Yep. Lego week. This is looking great. And I know they just finished up with their art camp. There's lots of cool pictures from art camp that was there. 
Um, yeah. So, oh, and the virtual today they author have their visits. Virtual visit. mm-hmm. There's going to be, there's one today, I think it's the teen author, and then there's one tomorrow, which is maybe the adult author, but I can't recall. Um, but yeah, it looks like the Dungeons and Dragons event is going to be happening soon, too. And then on Saturday, what did they've got going on Saturday? Oh, that's a yellow. Bridge to reading. Okay. Challenge. Interesting. I wonder what that is. So, for our calendar, we can check that because I don't know what day it is anymore. I think things just, summer's a blur. Uh, so, today's Wednesday. We got that much. We're doing it. Lapsed it, 10 30. And right now, going on, Mr. Adventure Taylor's story yep, hike. Mr. Taylor's adventure story hike is at Salisbury Bridge Park today. Um, last time, apparently, it was a blast. Over 85 people showed up for the adventure hike, so that is that is kind of crazy. But of course, Mr. Taylor led them through the walk with songs and stories, so that's awesome. Tomorrow night, though, we do have a special event for adults. We are making our tiny reading gardens. Wait, that's on Friday. See, I told you, we don't even. I don't even know. Well, what you got is. confused. It says adventure story hike is the fifteenth. Oh, that's tomorrow. It's Wednesday. I can do this. It's Wednesday. Laps it. Tomorrow is adventure story hike. It's not happening right now. It's tomorrow. Yeah. So there's still time to go. There's we saw some time. photos on the amplified episode yes. of the people who went out. There were a lot of people, and they mm -hmm. all had a great time. Mm -hmm. But this one will start at. Okay, so now I'm back in the game here. Thursday, the 15th, the Adventure Story Hike is going to be at Salisbury Bridge Park. So that is where you will meet. And then on the 16th, we have our tiny... Oh, here we go. Salisbury yeah. Bridge. Mm -hmm. The 15th, we have our adult craft night, which is the tiny reading gardens. We're looking forward to that. You do need to register, so please uh, call the library, email us, let us know that you're coming so we can have enough supplies for everyone. What exactly is the tiny reading garden? There's actually a Facebook photo. Um, if you, I don't know if you can get to our Facebook page quickly, but that we have a little picture of one of the tiny reading gardens on the page. So, anyway, we don't have to see it today, but we can if you find it quickly. But um, and then, of course, as we've been talking, our celebration, five-year celebration, is going to be on Saturday, rain or shine. Two to five, and that will be amazing. Bubbles, food trucks, um, speeches, acoustic music. Speeches. Yep, there you go. There's the tiny reading garden. Yep, in the terrarium. It's so cute. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that one. And then, of course, we had owls, owls. earlier. Yeah. And our game night last night. If you are not at the game nights, the play the genre, oh, man, you're missing out. You guys, <laughs> yeah, that's just so many things going down here's the mm -hmm. five year anniversary on this coming. Uh, coming saturday that's the right. one day that you said it was supposed to rain i know hopefully it hopefully it moved out and we don't have to worry about that anymore so all right you two thank, thank you. you guys this has been a wonderful wilton wednesday as always Devin we always like to have great. a cigarette to relax these actually. are candy <laughs> cigarettes that say roller <laughs> derby on them children we and see i didn't even smoke. know we I didn't do even not notice. Smoke, and you should not smoke. This is. I didn't even hold know that they up grow. to the camera. It's a, are those like from the eighties? I, I don't know. They're old. But these I didn't even what, know they still made them. Oh look. We, they're. Uh, I don't know what they're filled with. If you blow with. on it, it has. Oh, look, yeah. smoke comes out. <laughs> so they're they're candy. <laughs> they are candy. We I, I never my, smoke. I had my fellow roller derby stars. We have a pack of these after every game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yours sounds oh, like boy. you're making another commercial right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us for Wilton <laughs> Wednesday, you. and we can't wait to see you next week for Wilton Wednesday with uh, former mayor Bob Barrett. Is that right? Did I get Mayor it right? Bob? Mayor Bob. Yep, Mayor Bob. Yep. I know. It's all. It is. We're a little more informal with our mayors, like well, Mayor Bob Barrett's going to be <laughs> yeah. speaking with Molly Garrett. Yeah, Molly yes. Garrett, and Bob Garrett. Garrett. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Uh, sounds like an alias to me. <laughs> all right, you two. See it was you great from the to bunker. see you. Yep, and we will yep. see you next time on Wilton Wednesdays. Thanks for watching Libraries Alive.